Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Father, we thank you tonight. Lord, as we go into your word, that we ask that you speak to us. That we ask that we open our eyes of understanding. In the name of Jesus. And I ask that you bless your people. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. People of God, I'm bringing the word of God to you tonight again. And I believe you are going to be blessed. I'm going to be reading to us from the book of Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 21. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, I read, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. But I love the Passion Translation. Let me read the Passion Translation to you. Your words are so powerful that they will kill or give life, and the talkative person will reap the consequences. I'm going to be speaking to us briefly tonight on the subject or topic that I tag, the power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word. I don't know what you are speaking. I don't know what you are confessing. I don't know what you are saying. But the Bible declares to us that there is power in our tongue. There is power in whatever you see. There is power in whatever you confess. The battle of life is a battle of word. Everything we do here on earth is being controlled by the power of our word. I don't know what you are saying. I don't know what you are doing. But whatever it is that you are doing, you must be mindful of what you say. You must be mindful of what you speak. Because the word we speak, the Bible says those words are alive, they are active, they are powerful. The word that is coming out of our mouth, they are not just ordinary words. The Bible says he upholds everything by the power of his word. He created heaven and earth by the power of his word. Everything he created, he created it, he spoke them to be. So, you need to understand that there is a power that God has given to us and you must learn how to use that word. If you are not speaking the right word, if you are not confessing positive, it's going to be difficult for you to achieve that which God has proposed for you. So it is important for us to understand that we need to tap into these resources that God has given to us. So anything you want, you have to confess it. You have to begin to speak it. Confess it until it manifests physically. The power you are carrying has a creative power. It's carrying a creative power. It is the same word that God spoke to create, to create heaven and earth. So whatever he has created, you can create your own word by your word. So I don't know what you are going through. I don't know the situation you find yourself. It is high time you begin to speak the word. Begin to speak the word of God into that situation. Begin to confess the word of God. He has created you to be the edge and not the tail. He has provided for you. You will not lack anything. He has spoken so many things into be. So all you need to do is to look for that word that fits into the situation you find yourself and begin to say it. I will live and not die. I will be the head and not the tail. I will exert. Whatever I lay my hands upon shall I prosper. The Lord shall preserve my going out and my coming in. So people of God, I don't know the situation you find yourself. It is high time you begin to confess the word of God. It is high time you begin to speak the word of God. As you are speaking it, things are changing in the spirit realm. Even though at times you speak, and you will not see the physical manifestation, but continue to speak. Continue to say it. Continue to confess it. It's like a woman that is pregnant. The first month, it will not be obvious. Second month, third month, it will not be obvious. But by the time you begin to get to fourth, fifth, sixth month, you don't need to testify to anybody again that you are pregnant. It will be obvious. That is the way it works. So continue to say it. Continue to confess it. Continue to declare it. Whatever you declare is what you are going to see. The word we speak is what is controlling everything that is here on heart. So if you don't learn how to speak the right word, it is going to be difficult for you to achieve that which he has proposed for you. It is my prayer 
that the grace, the power, the ability to speak the right word, the Lord will come to you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.